Hi everyone. In the last video, we have seen how to write a plain text, how to give as an input, and how to get a response. The plain text. Now, in this video, we will see how to extract query parameters and how to extract URI parameters, which is coming from the request. As you, we are getting some HTTP request like this, which is listening at 8081 port and they are what is the path yesterday we have given for this listener that means if they are if you are getting a listener path as a demo and client is passing some uh, you are getting some request with query parameters query parameters will be represented by using a question mark <coughs> and what is the key assume that name right and uh, name equal to some sujit and how to pass multiple query parameters by using this and and simple and city equal to some tele right this is the these are the query parameters client passed two query parameters now i need to extract this query parameters right how to extract this by using your mule application so yesterday we have seen Welcome to MuleSoft is a basic text. Now I want to extract by using some data view expressions. How we can extract the query parameters by using a data view expression. How you know already how to write a data view expressions. Just click on this FX button. It will move to switch our expression mode. Now whatever you write in this syntax hash and two square brackets will be read as a expressions data view expressions. Now as i said in the previous picture query parameters are nothing but an attributes in our program what are attributes in mule attributes are flown as an what headers right just i'm just checking uh, for your picture yesterday i shown you just i'm just checking for that the mule event what we discussed in the last session so if i show the picture it will be very easy to understand somewhere it missed it i missed it so no problem i explained to some other branch i will let me explain through that yeah this is the one which i am looking for so yesterday we have seen this picture right now i want to set some payload by writing some data view expressions now let's just switch back to the any point studio now here i am setting the value by extracting the query parameters query parameters are nothing but an attributes right we can see here these are the uh, event contains what attributes payload and variables now i want to set a value for this payload by extracting some attributes right so attributes part of a message you can see attributes are nothing but a part of a message mule message now in order to extract a query parameters first we need to extract attributes so in order to access attributes first we need to access a message so simply write message dot dot represents what reference in message we have two parts payload and attributes as i shown in the previous session attributes and payload message dot i want to extract what attributes there are n number of attributes just click on right dot dot represents reference in this attributes i have many right now i am getting a request with a query params so question mark means question query params now i want to extract query params in that query params i want to extract two things name and city name okay as string just type cast it to string right now how to concatenate two expressions by using a plus symbol two plus symbol represents concatenation in mule data view language so again we need to write an expression message dot you don't need to write message directly write attributes because mule will understand application will understand attributes dot 
again in the query params dot what is the another one city so just i will write some syntax here in order to make this expression meaningful so i will concatenate this expressions with some string of course i am type casting it first then simply i will write some string as well how to write literals or string in mule expression language sorry data view language by using two quotations whatever you write in this quotations will be treated as a string i am space and i want to concatenate that expression with a string i am it will be extracted as a sujit okay now i need to write one more sentence in between again i will write two concatenate i mean two plus symbols to concatenate and i want to write a string call from city right so i am it will extract name as a sujit and from what just i will give space so from city which city this city will be extracting a delhi so finally what i am doing here i am concatenating a string with some expression and i am extracting a query parameters as well dynamic input and dynamic response let me save it control s automatically it will save all right if you want to see the expression how we have written just click on this down arrow you can see otherwise just click on this graphical view which i am showing in the uh, here just click on this graphic view you can see the expression here right so this is the expression which i have written let me deploy this application yesterday i have shown you how to deploy run the project just click on save so my listener is listening on 8081 i have not changed from the previous video again i will show you just click on this edit button 8081 okay next what is the what is the path slash demo yeah 81 slash demo and i am extracting a query params so you can just see in the console it is getting deployed you can write your own phrase as well you can fill in some sentences on your own my concept is how to extract some input input values whether if they pass it through query parameters or uri parameters right now i'm showing for query let me show you for uri as well first we'll get a response i'm getting i'm just giving a get request and passing some query params in that just see here you need to get a logger so just go to the end yeah i got a sentence i am sujit from city delhi you can see the sentence as well to the on the client level now just i will change from delhi to hyderabad okay just click on send yeah dynamic response right so and so now the require second requirement is instead of extracting query parameters i need to extract by uri parameters assume that i am going to get a request in this way after the path just simply they are writing values to uri params slash sujit slash city now what is the keys for this see when whenever you are getting some request in this way can you treat that these are the uri parameters it is nothing but an uri and this is nothing but an uri so if you are getting a request in this way and your listener path is matching with this pattern where is the listener path here in this flow there is a listener right in this listener if the path is matched with this path okay the pattern is matched then your flow will be triggered in order to match with this so i need to write in this way after slash demo slash if you want to write any uri parameter keys you need to wrap up into two curly braces name slash one more uri parameter slash city right so these are the keys i already written some uh, expression here instead of extracting query 
you need to extract what URI params, URI control space. Here also just change it to URI params. Just save it. See, if you save automatically, your project is getting deployed. That means restarting your application. No need to stop the server and no need to restart it. Already server is started. Just control S will save your changes. The save it will save the changes and your application will be restarted on the same server. How it is enabled under the project on the on the top under the project there is a build automatically. All right. So by default it will be selected. So once whenever you save changes if the server is running and if your application is deployed and if you do some changes for that application automatically it will be restarted on the same server now now can i give a request now i need to get the same response so i got the same response here as well at the see the log at the end i am sujit from city hyderabad so just for a change i will, I will just change back to delhi again so I'm getting a response here, dynamic response. This is how you need to extract query and URI params. Okay. As a task, you can do what, what you want to do, what you can do. You can pass query parameters and you can pass URI parameters as well. Okay. In the same expression. Okay. How you can do, you can pass query parameters in this way. So I'm just passing one query parameter question with question mark, uh, country equal to India. I want to pass one more query parameter. Right now, what, I, what are the changes I need to do? You need to go to the set payload. I want to set that payload right by writing some expression over there. Right. I want to concatenate. I want to write a string country country. And I want to concatenate by to extract the query parameters. Attributes dot this time query parents, right? Query parents dot what is the country name? Query query parameters. You need to write a key value pair in the URL itself. And just type uh, typing type casting because I need to tell the system after evaluating all these expressions, it will be a string type. Okay. So I just saving the changes. With the changes again it will be redeployed i mean restarted your application how you will identify whether the changes uh, changes are saved there while you are doing some changes to application there will be a star mark here at the uh, application level that mean xml level once you save it automatically star will go and it your application will be restarted you can see started app zero and so and i am giving a request send request you can see I passed URI and I passed query parameters as well in the URL. Accordingly, I set up some expressions here, dynamic expressions, how to extract dynamic values and I'm getting a response. You can see on the logger as well. Yes, this is how you need to concatenate string with the expressions and you need to typecast. Okay, that's all from my end. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.